welcome to Origami Tree. My name is Jenny and today I'm going to show you how to make Origami Angry Birds. So this is a three-part series. I have three separate tutorials on them, so make sure you check them all out. The first one is Angry Bird Red, the other one is Chuck, and the third one is the Piggy. This video is only for the Piggy. But before we begin, be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what type of tutorial you'd like to see next and let's jump right in. To make the origami piggy, you're going to need a square sheet of paper. This is a 3 inch square. You also need a writing utensil to draw in the features of the pig. And the first thing you want to do is you want to take your square sheet of paper and fold it in half diagonally so that it forms a triangle shape. Unfold. Rotate and repeat the same thing in the opposite direction. So again, you're just going to fold it in half diagonally so that it creates a triangle shape. Next, unfold, and then align the bottom tip to the center crease. So just fold it upwards and crease it in. Turn it around and do the same thing on this side. So you're going to take the top tip and align it to the center. So just fold it down and crease it in. Next, we're going to flip it around again and we're going to unfold this top tip right over here. We're going to take notice of this line that we created earlier and we're going to take this tip and basically fold it diagonally so that this tip aligns with this vertical crease just like that and this tip aligns with this horizontal crease just like that and then flatten. After that, you want to repeat the exact same thing on the left side. So again, we're going to fold it diagonally so that this tip aligns with the vertical crease and this tip aligns with the horizontal crease. So fold it down and crease that in. After that, you want to take this bottom side and align it to this horizontal crease right there. So you're going to fold it upwards and crease it in. Next, you're going to unfold the crease that you just made and then you're going to fold this diagonally so that this tip right here aligns with this side. So fold it diagonally, align this tip to this side, and you're going to angle it so that the point of this triangle is to this horizontal crease. So fold it down and crease it in. And then you want to repeat the same thing on the left side. So again, you're going to fold it diagonally so that this tip is aligned with this side and over here where the triangle's corner is, is right at the horizontal crease. And then you're going to fold it down. The next step is to unfold these two creases that you just created and basically reverse them. So take this and bring it to the back like that and then flatten. And then of course repeat the same thing on the left side. So take this flap and reverse the fold, bring it to the back, and then flatten. Next you're going to refold this fold over here. So you're just going to bring it back up. And the next step is to take this tip and fold it downwards as much or as little as you want. And this basically forms the shape of the top of the pig's head. So you're going to fold it down and crease that in. And then after that, you're going to take this tip, so this white tip over here, and you're actually going to curve it inwards, just like that. So curve it inwards, like this, and then flatten. So that the front looks a little bit more rounded. After that, you're going to round this corner and this corner by folding it back. So I'm going to fold it back like that and also like this. You can also round this corner and this corner to make the pig just, you know, a little bit more round all around. Repeat the same thing on the left side and then decorate. And you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other Andy Bird tutorials as well. I have three of them, like I said before, and it's going to be in the video description and also linked here, here, and here. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!